my boy. You know that it's on the fire, it's my bitch a beat. How do you watch it when you know beat? You know that you want it. Can you let him out? You know that it's on the fire, it's a beat. Timmy, 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 Timmy. He will watch it for a fire. Can you let him out? You know that it's on the fire, it's my bitch a beat. How do you watch it when you know beat? You know that you want it. Can you let him out? You know that it's on the fire, it's a beat. Timmy, 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 Timmy. Hello guys and welcome to the official Virtual Pro Gaming live stream and tonight we have an esports match for the esports premier. Uh, two giants in the game, we have Boys in the Hood, one of the best teams from Germany and we have Thunder Alk, one of the best teams from France. Both of them are competing in the esports premier, one of the highest leagues in pro clubs today. So let's take a look at... Uh, the league table for the esports premier. Uh, the esports pre esports premier has 16 teams, so we're only going to show the first top 10 on where Thunder Alk and Boys in the Hood are. Currently on top, we have Colossus Soccer on 15 points from Spain. In second, we have OFR Esports on 12 points from Germany. In third position, we have Season sitting in that, sitting in that third spot with 10 points. In the fourth position, we have FTW Legacy uh, with 10 points from Portugal. Heads up in that fifth position with 9 points from Spain. War Kids in the sixth position with 9 points from Germany. Boys in the Hood, uh, seventh with 8 points from Germany. Digital Sports in eighth with 8 points from Germany. Ninth, Rising Rain. Also from Germany with 8 points and Thunder Alk are in 10th position currently with 8 points. As you can see the, the league has just started and there's only, it's only been like 2 weeks into the season and it's very tight towards the top 10 teams. So it's going to be a fantastic clash between Boys in the Hood and Thunder Alk both from 8 points. One of them went into advance to at least top 4. Let's look at tonight's lineups for Boys in the Hood. They are playing the 4 1 2 1 2 formation with Kalos in goal. Left back, they have Benny. In right back, they have Leroy. And playing two centre halves, we have Jamie and Westy. Sitting in CDM tonight for Boys, we have Sengo. Playing left, side, left centre mid and right centre mid, we have Klutz and Xeni. And the attacking midfield player, we have Fire. Scoring the goals for boys tonight, we have Goxon and Kashi. Everyone knows the name Kashi. He's always competing for the top scorer every season. If he gets the ball in a crucial position, he will get that goal for the club. Line up for Thunder Alk tonight. They are playing the 3 5 2 formation. In goal, they have Wissam. Three centre halves, they have Jeff, Ais Batis, and Tugal. Sitting in CDM, they have Raiki. Two centre midfield players, Tiger and Sakan, who is the manager. And playing on the wing, they have Dizzy and Darken. And scoring the goals for Thunder tonight, we have Mafu and Teddy. Um, apologies to uh, interrupt you here, Aaron, but uh, it does appear as if the match is about to get underway. Okay, perfect. The match is about to begin now so I'll pass you over to Chris for tonight's live commentary between two giants Thunder Alk and Boys in the Hood Welcome everyone we've got an early chance here, it's a good save in the end um, as I say welcome to this esports premier match between Boys in the Hood and Thunder Alk um, two good teams here that we're expecting a, a, a great clash um, we've got Alk here in the dark kits and it's blue and black 
which are going from right to left. And Boys in the Hood in the white going from left there, just having the corner. Uh, as we discussed there at the beginning, um, just before the match, I'm sorry, pause a second as this attack comes to fruition. The ball is dropped back. Well, the through ball is on, but uh, well stepped up by the defender there, cleared over to the left back and whacked upfield, trying to uh, get a start into this game. Um, Boys in the Hood, they've uh, started with... A uh, was it a two wins, two draws, uh, eight points. Um, we got both teams have won eight points, so it's, oh, so they are. Yep. It's a crucial <laughs> game between both of them tonight. One of them wants to get the three points to give him at least top four on the table. Indeed. Um, what I was just going to add as well is that it's notable uh, both teams are on zero goal difference. Um, got eight and eight for I think is Boys in the Hood and eight and seven and seven for Thunder Auk. Good overhead clearance there, acrobatic by the defender. Um, so in my mind, it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see. But I, again, I think we might have a draw on our hands. My personal prediction is a, a one-all because uh, both teams have made a, a cagey start to the season. But um, definitely the right end of the table. Or oh, the ball is on here. If he can stay on side, it looks like he's just off. But it's a redundant point as the defender does well to step up and intercept the ball for the clearance. Thunder Oak trying to get things going here as Boys in the Hood have been pressing in attack nice and early. It's an unfortunate deflection there and the ball is given away. <clears throat> Apologies. <laughs> nice attempted challenge there to intercept the ball, but it's led to the through ball being made to the back post. Slammed into the back of the net. Ooh, we do have a game here as Boys in the Hood take the lead. What a fantastic del- goal there by Coxon. Yes, brilliant. He's the uh, top scorer in the league with four at the moment, but no, now he's up to five. Um, yes, brilliant stuff. Uh, well worked. Waited just to the right moment to make that pass across goal and slammed first time into the opposite side of the net. And uh, yep, boys in the head, as, as we've said, two big teams here. So if one of them can get, come away with three points, they'll be absolutely ecstatic. Puts them in real contention at the top of the table in the early stages of this season. The ball is pumped up towards the round side and can't be kept in. Bounces over his head for a Thunder Orc throw-in on their left. And that's an attempted ball over the top, but uh, actually looked more like a clearance. But yes, uh, Goxon definitely in, in a massive, rich vein of form this season so far. And here he is again on the ball threading it through and well collected by the goalkeeper ready now with the long clearance up on the left hand side it's a good attempt at keeping the ball in there puts the defender under a lot of pressure but he comes away with the throw it's a long throw towards the middle and Thunder out regain possession working the ball with the attacking midfield strikers trying to get onto it to try and effect play and get something going seems a nice high level uh, of quality in this match in terms of dribbling and passing so far looking forward to seeing how this one pans out as the ball is confidently passed out through the middle from the defence and the run is on on the right hand side, can he be released all depends on the bounce of this ball as to what can be done here, the goalkeeper's striding forward trying to cut off an angle as it falls kindly there we go. Is that is that FK's head? Yep. Brilliant. Fantastic finish. In that uh, situation, it's very easy to just snap at it, but he's taken the time to spin around, get it onto his favoured foot, and smash it past the goalkeeper. Uh, previously had two assists in three games, and adding another goal to uh, to his tally now. So uh, only twenty seven minutes into this one, and we have two goals already. Let's hope it continues. FKS Ted on the ball again. Good control. Moves it back. Ooh, looking for that inside pass and strong challenge there, using his strength to uh, stand the defend, uh, stand the attacker up. Lovely through balls. Through on goal once more. Oh, a lovely pass through, and it's two one. And it's Goxon again. Goxon again. He's absolutely rampaging up the uh, top goal scorer charts. As he gives Boys in the Hood the lead once more. (laughs) I'm liking this one. This is great entertainment here. 
That's a lovely ball once more. Well defended, but uh, yeah, it's a great game here. As the ball is played through again, but this time there is an offside flag. Goxon really proving his uh, pedigree right now. Putting the rest of this uh, high-quality league to shame. Good step up there by the defence. Sitting quite narrow there, but uh, it's a lovely spread out wide to try and expand the play a little bit. You can see what uh, what the wide man was trying to do there, trying to feed the striker through, but what's happening here? Will the goalkeeper be able to get that? He can. Let's see, are we expecting another long ball up onto the wings, trying to get and attack the fullbacks. It's gone down the middle this time, where the taller centre backs can more easily challenge for the ball. Lovely over the top. It's a recurring theme, and it seems so simple, but uh, there's definite mastery in being able to time your run properly here. And Boys in the Hood have shown that they are more than capable of mastering that with two goals already in this first half. Good cut out by midfield once more. Is there an opportunity here? The attackers seem to be rather bunched up and that forces the through ball to be attempted. Oh, good pressure. And a good challenge again. It's all very tense and I, I will admit I love it. <laughs> good drag back there to try and get some shape, but well intercepted. The ball is through. Good challenge. Back onto the ooh, the right foot of Goxon was waiting there. He decided to pass it instead to his teammate. Good old-fashioned traditional German hat trick. I'm sure Goxon would love. So nice calm play as it's threaded onto the. Wing, but the defence has read that well with the centre back tracking back nice and quickly to get in and behind to intercept the ball. Going long once more down the wing with a throw. It's good pressure there, but it uh, does lead to a Thunder Rock throw in. Sorry, I just <laughs> had a moment there where I was thinking maybe they could get a foot on that, but it's a lovely ball on the inside. And surprisingly, it does seem like the centre-back actually has a bit more pace than the striker in that scenario. Able to uh, race ahead of him to get to the ball. And we've got the restart here as we anticipate the half-time whistle. And there it goes. A fantastic first half we've seen here between two giants in the eSports Premier. Boys in the Hood at the moment taking the lead and looking much more dangerous in attack, it has to be said. Committing a lot of men forward, but... Um, it's uh, definitely been Goxon taking the headlines in this one. Two lovely finishes. Um, whereas, I mean, in all fairness, Thunder Orc are definitely still in this game. They just need to try and create a little bit more with the with, in the final third. And um, they've got plenty. Of, I mean, they've got a good, strong team unit there that have been performing well so far this season. But uh, Boys in the Hood definitely looking to be getting over the top of the uh, three-man defence and trying to take advantage where possible. There's still more in this. There's definitely oh, still more definitely. in this. As I say, in terms of the league table, they both had a neutral goal difference and they were only averaging just over a goal a game, both teams. And so I've been surprised to see uh, quite a quite such a, an aggressive matchup between the two. But it's been brilliant to watch. As we are underway in this second half, the ball is threaded through again. King Kashi's been uh, been brilliant at facilitating Goxon up front to, with some nice link-up play. Good pressure again. Leroy stepping up there to intercept the ball. Can he chase this one down as the ball is worked onto the left-hand side? Looking for a striker there. Good strength shown again by the defender. Continuously wrestling, and it's uh, worked its way out onto the left-hand side with the clearance. Well challenged for there. Can they? Oh, the ball on the inside was on. Sorry, my apologies. Didn't hear the whistle there from the referee. But uh, Thunder Orc have a free kick here. Will they play this one short, or maybe they could be tempted to uh, try something towards the back post? They've got men ling. Well, one man lingering there, ready. It's not the world's deepest defensive line, but it is played towards the back post and cleared. And the counter is on once again. Goes for the header instead of trying to control the ball. I don't blame him for that, but uh, 
Hindsight is a wonderful thing. It's, that's a very high line. There's a big offside trap being played by Boys in the Hood. That's confident defending as it played towards the edge of the area. Controlled well. Lovely turn in the end and cleared. Out for a throw in to put an end to that uh, dangerous move. Seemed to be a lot of scrambling there. Thunder Elk will be uh, wanting to make a chance for themselves fairly soon. Whether it results in a goal or not, I think it's just more of a, a matter of trying to build some confidence in this one. But uh, oh, here we go. Goxon on the ball, running down the right-hand side. Can he assist something this time instead of scoring? He had two attempts there, and the ball was locked out both times by the defence. Very much end-to-end -end at the moment as Thunder out, pull forward on the right-hand side here with Ted once again, passes it out onto the left-hand side. Looking for that perfect pass, but instead it's recovered by the defender temporarily. I think that may well be offside. No, it's not been, not been given. We get to carry on. The ball is played into the middle and headed clear again. I think I may well be tired after this match, Aaron. It's uh, an all-action affair. The both Great ball into the middle. Oh! I thought we were about to see a, a Van Persie-esque diving header there or something to try and uh, lift it over the goalkeeper, but he's gone for the volley instead and it's just flashed wide. Could have been a great opportunity to open up a two-goal margin there. Whilst Thunder Alk have had the majority of the play, it does seem as if Boys in the Hood are more likely to add to their, their goal tally. They're just so dangerous on the attack. Nicely worked out onto the left. Good it's that quick ball. counter they're doing. It's just it's fantastic. Here we go. Goxon for the hat trick. And He's he got has. it. He needs one more to double his tally for the whole season. It's fantastic. Again, a fan oh, brilliant ball again across the uh, across the box there. And I'm sensing a bit of frustration from Thunder Alk here. Oh my word! Can we get a fourth here? It's a lovely strike. It was just. Mistimed, I think. Maybe on the wrong foot even, but it's it's gone over through the centre of the goal. Thunder, Thunder out need to uh, really regather pretty quickly. They've got just over 20 minutes remaining in this one. And it just appears to me that the more men they want to commit forward, the more they're actually playing into the hands of the opposition. Just so deadly on the counter-attack. Ball from the, the attempted high press, but uh, look at this space in the middle. Fantastic ball out from defence. and Well won. Can he get this into the middle? Maybe drop it back. There we go. Ball is available on the left-hand side. Nice little touch. Over to the right. And it's a good challenge at the end from Dizzy, which is cleared only to uh, boys in the hood who are just continuously trying to press. They really are in the mood to take absolutely no prisoners. Coxon was there again. Shaping up that long shot. Ready. That's a lovely ball. Just not quite enough pace from the attacker to be able to get through there. The goalkeeper showing off his skills. Spinning around before distributing it up to the left-hand side. But the defender wins the ball in the air. A decisive clearance. Here we go again. Oh, just getting in the way of one another just there, which uh, impeded the ability to make the uh, the correct through ball. But it really has been uh, deadly stuff. Oh, there's another through ball here. And he is offside. That's only just, though. But that's what we've seen all game from Boys in the Hood. They've been spectacular in attack. I, I know they have it in them, but uh, haven't seen it so far, really, this season against the uh, the top-level opposition in their league. So they'll see this as very much a, a promising sign for the rest of the season. The ball's in here again for Goxon. Oh, it's lovely defending. Challenged by the goalkeeper. There's a fall there and a pile of bodies. But uh, in the end, Thunder out going for the counter off the clearance. And well cleared there over to the right-hand side. It's just ongoing. It's, a, it's a very much a one-dimensional style of football, but... They're playing smart. They've realised that Thunder Alk are playing the three at the back formation with a high line. So they're, and, getting, they're getting numbers forward and doing that over the top three ball, which is very crucial for this game. It's, I mean, 
it's uh, similar to what I said uh, the other day on, on coverage. It's the idea that, uh, in my mind at least, the best way to try and attack a three at the back is to move into the channels with two strikers. And they've done this all game long. Just look at this lovely link-up play with the cam. And uh, once again, it doesn't take much more than that for there to be plenty of openings and for someone to be through on goal. I mean, Thunder Elk have not played badly in this game. It's, it's just... It's it's been a bit of a kind of it's a mix between a tactical and a finishing masterclass really. It's been nice and simple football, but so very effective. Can he get a little touch on that? Boxman was through there, nearly smelling the opportunity for a fourth goal. Oh, it's lovely, just a little bit too much on that before it could go through, and there goes the final whistle. In the end, a comprehensive victory for Boys in the Hood against Thunder Alk. Um, a fantastic, I mean, easy decision on man of the match there with some brilliant finishes and confident attacking play from Goxon there, who really does stretch a lead, I would suspect, at the top of the goal-scoring charts for the eSports Premier. Um, it, was, it was actually quite a level game in terms of quality. Uh, both teams showing that they had an ability to pass on the ball, but Boys in the Hood were the the better team tactically in terms of noticing their opponent's weakness and playing to that at all times. Um, Thunder Elk were just playing and kind of playing their normal game, it felt, and uh, it very nearly paid off. But as soon as they went, that second goal behind just struggled so much to get back into the game as we watch the replays here. And look at that unselfish play. Nice, lovely cut inside. And slams the ball past the goalkeeper there for his uh, for his third to complete the hat trick, and there he is, Goxon in all his glory, showing off to our viewers. Anyway, thank you all for joining us for this esports premier match between Boys in the Hood and Thunder Alk. Um, hope you enjoyed us it yourself, and uh, join us again soon uh, for more VPG action. Aaron, over to you. Okay, guys, yeah, that was it. That was the last game for tonight. Boys in the Hood taking on Thunder Alk, which ended in a 3-1 win uh, to Boys in the Hood with a hat-trick from Goxham. If you missed the match early on today in the partnered English League with uh, Tranmere Rovers against Bradford City, you'll be able to check both of these matches on our YouTube channel. But that is it. That is it for today. We want to thank you all for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Know that it's all the furnace, but we're too beaty. Like, boy, it's your fucking beat. Man, you're wildin'. Kill it, you might walk. Know that it's all the furnace. Tim, 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 tim. People with you all burning. Kill it, you might walk. Know that it's all the furnace, but we're too beaty. Like, boy, it's your fucking beat. Man, you're wildin'. Kill it, you might walk. Know that it's all the furnace, but we're too beaty. Like, boy, it's your fucking beat. Man, you're wildin'. Kill it, you might walk. Know that it's all Kill anybody walking, know that it's all the finest.